the definitive guide to eyebrow transplants. Eyebrow transplant surgery is an increasingly popular cosmetic procedure in the US and all over the world. Yes, it's a thing. You can transplant your eyebrows. Many people don't even know it's an option. Insist on spending hundreds of dollars on brow tinting, shaping, threading, microblading, lamination, tattooing, all kinds of different things. But what's better than having your own hair in your brows in the shape that you want them to be? So if you're filling them in with makeup every day, an eyebrow hair transplant, or doing any of those things, an eyebrow tra hair transplant offers a permanent solution that actually may be more cost effective in the long run. Here's a quick guide. What is an eyebrow transplant? This is a great question because most people don't know about it. An eyebrow transplant is a cosmetic surgery that involves harvesting or grafting hair follicles from the patient's scalp here in the back and transplanting them to the eyebrow area for thicker, fuller brows. The transplanted follicles will always grow from where you took them from. So they'll always grow like the hair in the back of your scalp, which is great because you'll always have hair there, but then also you have to trim them and shape them. But most people who need this are drawing them in, they're trimming them, that sort of thing on a daily basis anyway. Eyebrow transplants are done under local anesthesia. The procedure takes between three to four hours and the patient can go home the same day. What is the first step in getting an eyebrow transplant? Prior to the surgery, I have an in-depth consultation with my patient where I listen carefully to get a detailed idea of their desired brow shape. The brow shape is drawn collectively between the patient, our hair team, and myself. I'll then study the patient's natural hair growth and facial anatomy to come up with our surgical plan. There's two different approaches to harvest the hair. One is follicular unit extraction and the other is follicular unit transplantation. Follicular unit extraction, or FUE, individual follicles are removed one at a time from the donor area and then transplanted into the eyebrows. This does not require invasive incisions, but you can have dot-like scabbing in the donor and recipient areas for about a week or two while this heals. An FUT, also called the strip method, we take a strip of hair from the back, so that very finely, and so it becomes a very fine incision, but most of the time you can't even find it. And then we take that strip of hair, divide it into individual little follicles, and then place that into the eyebrows. This is the most common technique that I use for eyebrow transplant, because you can get the most usable follicles in that area, and it creates just this fine little line that you can't even find in the back of the scalp. That way, you can also leave the hairs long enough that we can see their exact curvature, which is very important for the placement because it's not only placing it in the area that you want it, but it's orienting it into the shape that you want your brow to be. What hair can an eyebrow transplant use? The donor follicles are often taken from the back of the scalp near the hairline. These hairs are finer, a little bit thinner, and their growth phase is shorter and closer to that of the eyebrows. So it looks a little bit more natural whenever you take it from the back of the scalp near the neck. Do more women or men get eyebrow transplants? Eyebrow transplants are now quite popular among both men and women, but it does seem to be a growing trend among men. If you look at the leading men in Hollywood, many of them have strong, even bushy eyebrows. It is not uncommon for men getting hair transplants to also get eyebrow transplants at the same time. So overall result will look more natural and youthful. All kinds of women also get eyebrow transplants, especially postmenopausal women, women with hypothyroidism, who are born within brows, or we lived through the 80s and we plucked those until we don't have brows anymore. Eyebrow trends for women have changed drastically over the times, as we can tell. Now it's more in to have the thick, more full brows, and so we're seeing more people come back in and want to fill in where they've plucked out before. What is the cost of an eyebrow transplant? The cost of an eyebrow transplant will depend on who you have it done by, which method is used, and the number of follicles that are used. In the US, brow transplants cost anywhere between three and 6,000, including all the facility and anesthesia fees. Your surgeon will give you a more detailed price at your initial consultation, and there may be financing options available to help you spread out the cost. If you're concerned about affordability, don't be discouraged. Myself and other plastic surgeons are well-versed in less invasive hair growth techniques. If a full eyebrow transplant is out of your price range, I'm always happy happy to suggest an alternative treatment that might fit your budget and your goals. Do I need an eyebrow transplant surgeon near me? The choice of physician is very important with eyebrow transplants. The quality of the results is highly dependent on your surgeon's eye for detail and the meticulousness of their surgical techniques. It is not uncommon for my patients to fly in from elsewhere to have me perform their hair or eyebrow transplant surgery. 
If you're considering eyebrow transplant surgery, I'd love to talk with you about your goals and help you achieve beautiful, natural looking results. Have questions? I genuinely look forward to speaking with you. Email me at any time. Thanks for watching.